Okay, in this class we have number 93, Pac-Man, written by Kenlea Barnhart, Hillside Acres Stables out of Honecker, Virginia. We have number 561, which is Oh My Romeo, written by Courtney Bernard. She's the writer owner out of Gate City, Virginia. We have number 161, which is Whistling Trixie. Erlia Looney, owner and writer from Abingdon. We have number 105, Hawkeye, owner and writer, Meadow Maxfield from Hansonville. Number eight is Rhett, owner and writer is Hattie Robinson out of Dungannon, Virginia. Number 281 is Tombstone's Last Stand. Jaden Hollison from Windy Hill Stables out of Nicholsville. Number 14 is Sons Little Sadie. Writer is Arabella Gillwater from Valley View Farms in Dungannon. Number 100 is Old Bone, written by Braden Kaiser from H&K Stables out of Castlewood. Number 004 is Peanut and Leah Jordan, owner writer from Hunacre. Pleasure gate, please. Walk, please. Take them back down to a walk. Watch your ringmaster and line up, please.
ready to take this off, so. Thank you, Rose. Uh -huh. Thank you, Rose. Well, since all we only got one, we can't. Got you. I'm ready. We've got this beauty queen. Okay, we're ready to tie this class number two to go as you please, 12 and under. The winner of first place, if you would like your picture made with Miss Rose Dessen Photography, if you will, uh, once you get your ribbon, if you will go with her and Miss Raleigh Barnett, which is our Miss Russell County Fair. She'll take a picture of you and all the blue. And the first place in all the blue goes to 105. Hawkeye. Written and owned by Meadow Maxfield from Hansonville. Second place goes to number 516. Oh My Romeo, Courtney Bernard. On a rider from Gate City, Virginia. Third place, number 100. Old Bo, Braden Kaiser, H and K Stables from Castlewood. Fourth place, 161. Whistling Trixie. Er, er Ayla Looney from Addington. Fifth place, number 14. Sounds a little savvy. Ariel Gilwater, Valley View Farm, Dungan, Virginia. Thank you, ladies, for a very nice class. Again, class number three is the juvenile. Go as you please. The exhibitors are 13 years old to 18 years old. We have number 580, which is Tombstone's Iron Wheel, written by Destiny Easterly from Windy Hill Stables out of Nicholsville. We have number 109, JR. Owner and rider is Leah King from Hansonville. We have number 12, which is a coat of many colors. Riders Michaela Gray, Rocking G Stables from Castlewood. Number 617, Street Pusher. Rider is Lily Gray. Owner is Lawrence Gray from Lebanon. Number 101 is Zero Tolerance. Rider is Mackenzie Honecker. H&K Stables at Castlewood. Number 350 is Scout. Rider is Natalie Honecker. Owner is Christy Honecker from Rosedale. Class number three, the juvenile go as you please. I need class number four, ready, the lead line with ground assistance. Exhibitors are 10 and under. 
You can have those exhibitors ready to be wonderful. To get to order your pictures that she takes here at the fairgrounds. Does an excellent job. You'll really enjoy them. We also have Art TV here with us, televising the show today. Bring them down to a walk, please. Walk. Reverse and walk. Also, I'd like to let you know that Art TV who I said was filming the show today. It will be on Chantel and Cable Plus. So you can watch the show on television. <laughs> Miss Rose Stinson has batters up at the end of the stage. If you'd like her information or her husband, Randy, probably has a card he could give you. Pleasure gate, please. Pleasure gate. Set our next, our next class is class number four. Lead line with ground assistance. Please be ready. Come and see Miss Riley Barnett, who is our Miss Russell County Fair and Horse Show. She has the ribbon. And if you'd like your photo taken by Miss Rose Stinson, just walk on over there where she's at. So, first place in the blue ribbon goes to number 580, Tombstone's Iron Wheel, Destin Easterly from Windy Hill Stables, Nicholsville. Second place goes to number 12, a coat of many colors, Michaela Gray, Rocking G Stables out of Castlewood. Get lined up to victory up here. Third place goes to number 350, Scout by Natalie Honecker. The rider, owner, Christy Honecker, out of Rosedale. Fourth place is number 617, Street Pusher. Rider, Lily Gray, owner, Lawrence Gray, out of Lebanon. Fifth place, number 109, JR. Rider, Leah King, and owners, Leah King, from Hansonville. Thank you all for a very nice class. Now ready for class number four, lead line with ground assistance. The exhibitors are 10 and under. I have two entries in this class. This is, <coughs> this is class number four, lead line with ground assistance. What that means, the exhibitors are 10 and under. This is a walk and Pleasure Gate. These are children under 10 that are learning to ride. So that's why they have a little, they have their assistant with them. This is different from just the regular lead line. These riders are judged just like the other riders.
Hello. Pleasure gate, please. Watching this class. Next class is number five, juvenile racking non saddlebred, English or Western attire. You're next. is lead line with ground assistance. Exhibitors were 10 and under. And first place in the blue ribbon goes to number four. Supreme Rapture. Lisa Bush from Walnut Tree Farm in Castlewood. Second place goes to 247. Rear, black, rear back and take aim. Rider with Easton Pruitt from Shady Hall Stables at 11. Thank you. On Saddlebred, please enter the ring. Looking for two more entries, please, for juvenile racking non-saddlebred. Your class is in, Your Honor. Again, this is Juvenile Racking Non Saddlebred. English or Western attire for this class. Pleasure Gate, please. Entry number 20, I'm your Huckleberry Moon. Ollie Hart, owner rider from Honeaker. 104 is JR. Rider owner is Anthony King from Hansonville. Number 313 is JD's Moonbeam. Rider is Daisy Parks, Windy Hill Stables from Nicholsville. 
Number 580, Tombstone's Iron Wheel. Riders Destiny Easterly from Windy Hill Stables from Nicholsville. Number 97 is Tanner Time. Scarlett Thompson from Walnut Green Stable from Abingdon. Number 157 is Freedom. Austin Street, an owner rider from Cleveland, Virginia. Number 99 is Pushing the Line. Jaden Kaiser from HK Stable from Castlewood. Walk, please, walk. Reverse and walk, please. Reverse. This is your class number five, juvenile racking, non-saddlebred class. Show off, please. Show off. Our next class will be class number six, ladies Amlin Country Pleasure. Zenders are 18 and over. So class number six, she will be next. Slow rack, please, slow rack. Please, fast rack. Place class number five, juvenile racking, non saddle bread. And first place in the blue ribbon goes to number 20. I'm your Huckleberry Moon by Ivy Hart and the owner Rodgers from Home Anchor. Second place goes to JR, owner Rodgers Anthony King of Hansonville. Third place is Tanner Time. Scarlett Thompson from Walnut Range Stables from Abingdon. Fourth place is Pushing the Line, Jaden Kaiser, HK Stables from Castlewood. Fifth place, 282, Jungle Juice, Branson and Jesse, Rider Owner at Castlewood. Thank you very much for a very nice class. Abby, would you like to take a victory lap? <laughs> Ladies, Amblin Country Pleasure, please enter the ring.
of eight entries in this class. This is class number six, Ladies Ambling Country Pleasure. Have eight entries for this class. Looking for four more. Please. Again, this is the Ladies Ambling Country Pleasure Class, number 162, Whistling Trixie. Rider is Carol Looney. Owner is Erla Looney from Abington, Virginia. Number 455, Stocks Classic Act. Rider is Debbie Dale. Owner is Chandler Hale from London, Virginia. Number 77 is Blue. Rider Courtney Phillips, owner is Dwayne Buckles from Lebanon, Virginia. Number 17 is Miss Illusion. Owner Rider is Chelsea Akers from Kingsport. Number 305 is Ace of Spades. Angie McDavid, owner Rider from Duffield, Virginia. Number 91, Spellbound Santana. Alicia Collins. Circle C Stables from Lebanon. Number 336 is Little Man. Rider is Mary Hunter and the owner also from Duffield, Virginia. Number 911 is Clouds Perfect Storm. Alicia Eaton, owner is Kimetta Willis from Homemaker. Again, this is our Ladies Ambling Country Pleasure Class. We have riders here from Abington, Lebanon, Kingsport, Tennessee, Duffield, and Homeacre. You've got a favorite, let the judge know.
Walk, please. Walk. At class number seven, flat straw drive, and you will be next. Okay, our first place horse in this class number six, Ladies Ambling Country Pleasure, is number 455, Stocks Classic Act, Debbie Dale, is the rider, owner of Chandler Hill from Lebanon, Virginia. Second place, number 336, Little Ann. Rider is Mary Hunter, owner also from Duffield. Third place is number 17, Ms. Illusion, Chelsea Akers, owner rider from Kingsport, Tennessee. Fourth place, number 305, Ace of Spades. Owner riders Angie McDavid from Duffield, Virginia. Fifth place, 911. Clouds Perfect Storm, Alicia Eaton. Owner is Kenita Wells from Homemaker, Virginia. Thank you, ladies, for a nice Ambling Country Pleasure class. Owners Chandler Hale from Let's Give her a nice round of applause. Number seven, Flat Shaw Dragon. Please enter the ring. I have two entries for this class. Enter the ring, please, at a show walk. Go walk. The flat shod racking, class number seven. Please enter the ring at a show walk. Show walk, please. Class is in, your honor. Slow rack, please. Slow rack. In this class, we have number 31, Ace of Spades. Riders Louie Mullins from Hillside Acres, Conacre, Virginia. Number 267 is Playboy's Thunder. Owner rider is Paula Riddle from Gate City, Virginia. Fast rack, please. Fast rack. Show walk. Reverse and show walk. We have a truck that needs to be moved. It's a white Chevy 3556. Okay, for your class number seven, our flat shod racking. First place goes to 267. Playboy's Thunder. Rider is Paul Riddle. Owner also from Gate City, Virginia. 
Second place goes to Ace of Spades, Louis Mullins, Hillside Acres, Honecker, Virginia. Please bring them on in the ring. We have nine entries in this class. This is class number eight, Juvenile Country Pleasure. The exhibitors are 17 years of age and under. Waiting on one more. One more entry for Juvenile Country Pleasure. Seven or 17 years and under. Classes in the ring. I'm looking for one more entry. I have eight entries in the ring for class number eight, and I'm looking for one more. Number 
Number 617 is Billy Bob. Walk, please. Reverse and walk. We've had an area here. We don't. I don't think the Lawrence Grayson is 17 years under. I think he's a little bit over 17 years old. We have Lily. I think it's supposed to be Lily Gray on Billy Ball from Cedar Point, Park, North Carolina. The horse is. Number 101 is Just Call Me Classy. Riders of Kenzie Homemaker from HK Stables of Castlewood. And number 99 is Voodoo's Midnight Storm. Rider is Jaden Kaiser, also HK Stables from Castlewood. Yeah, you knew it wasn't Lawrence. Pleasure game. Well, he's in the next class. Make sure he's in line on the coach. Guinness is class number eight, our juvenile country pleasure. These exhibitors are 17 years of age and under. I can have some class sheets for the upcoming classes, please. Number eight, so class number nine. If you're in class number nine, you need to be ready. Yeah, we'd like to thank Miss Russell County Fair, Riley Barnett, for passing our ribbons today to our winner. Also, we'd like to thank Ashley Harris for being our ringmaster today. Okay, for our class number eight, our juvenile country pleasure, seven or 17 years of age and under, our first place winner is Billy Bob. Written by Lily Gray, owner is Linda Wilson from Cedar Point Farms in North Carolina. Place goes to Just Call Me Classy, Mackenzie Honecker, HK Stables from Castlewood. Third place goes to Voodoo's Midnight Storm, Jaden Kaiser, HK Stables from Castlewood. Fourth place, Oh My Romeo. Courtney Menards, the owner rider from Gate City, Virginia. Fifth place, 161, Whistling Trixie, Ariel Alumni, the owner rider from Abingdon, Virginia. Thank you for a very good class. Any class number nine ready at the gate, please? Looks like 15 entries in this class, Your Honor. Class number nine, go as you please. We'd like to thank Rose Stinson Photography for being here today. Rose does specialize in equine photography. She was here Thursday night for Russell County Night. You can look her up on Facebook at Rose Stinson Photography. Make sure you go on there. I know she's already posted several things from Thursday. And get your photographs.
Once again, we all look, it looks like for 15 entries in this class. ARCTD for being here today. They are out of Norton, Virginia. They've actually been at the fair with us all week this week. They have everything covered for us from top to bottom, I believe, at the Russell County Fair. They can be seen on Shintel and Cable Plus. Also, we'd like to thank all our volunteers for being out here with us today. It's been on such a great show. Looks like we may be still looking for four more. I think I've got 11. Still looking for a few more entries in this class. I believe I see two more making their way in. Still looking for one more in class number nine. Go as you please. One more entry. If you are in class nine, please be making your way to the gate. looking for one more entry. Class nine, go as you please. Class is in the honor. This is class nine, go as you please. We have number 907, The Duke, written and owned by Janet White of Lebanon. Number 31, Acey Space, written by Louie Mullins, owned by Hillside Acres of Honeaker, Virginia. Number 57, Dago, written by Heather Grizzle, owned by Raffin G. Staples of Dungannon, Virginia. Pleasure Gate, please, Pleasure Gate. Number 14, All the Right Spots, Anisha Stidham, owner, writer, owner is Valley View Farms of Dungannon. Number 77 is Blue, written by Courtney Phillips, owned by Dwayne Buckles of Lebanon, Virginia. Number 127 is Riding Dirty, written by Donovan Rose, owned by h &K Stables of Castlewood, Virginia. Number 423 is Troubadour, written and owned by Courtney McLaughlin of Home Anchor. Number 336 is Little Man, written and owned by Mary Hunter of Duffield, Virginia. Number 305 is Ace of Spades, written by Angie McDavid, owned by Angie McDavid, also of Duffield, Virginia. Number 12, A Coat of Many Colors, written by Michaela Gray, owned by Rocking G. Sable of Castlewood. And number 617 is Patches, written and owned by Lily Gray of Lebanon, Virginia. Number 004 is Peanut, written by Anila Jordan, owned by Anila Jordan of Homemaker. Bring them back down to a walk, please. Walk. Reverse and walk. Reverse and walk. Number 450 is Cheyenne. Written by Stevie Lester, owned by Geneva Lester at Cedar Bluff. Number 21 is Deuce, written and owned by Brian Lester of Cedar Bluff. And number 924 is Dakota, written and owned by Lawrence Gray of Lebanon, Virginia.
Also, I'd like to remind everybody here today, make sure if you get your raffle ticket, that will be drawn for this evening for the rock score that will be done in the reverse drawing. Only Pleasure Gate, please. Pleasure Gate. Only 350 tickets will be sold. You can see one of the members of the fair of Josh Cones across from Old McDonald's Farm today. We do take credit cards, cash, or checks for those. The drawing will begin at 8 o'clock up on the hill in the pavilion. The last ticket drawn will win Rock Store. Halfway through, you have a chance to win an X330 John Deere mower. So make sure you get your raffle tickets. We'll be selling those until about 7 30. We would like to thank all of our horse show committee, Ms. Carolyn Fields, our horse show manager, and co-manager, Ms. Cookie Ketrin, for putting on such a great show for a couple of days at the fair. A lot of work and time goes into this, and they do a great job with it each year, and we're glad to have them with us again. Let's hear some favorites. This is a large group of horses out here. What is your favorite number? Anybody? We are ready to tie class number nine. Go as you please. First, and all the blue goes to number 336, Little Man. Written by Mary Hunter, owned by Mary Hunter of Duffield, Virginia. Second, it's going to go to number 14, All the Right Spots. Written by Anisha Stidham, owned by Valley View Farms of Dungannon. Third place, is going to go to 305, Ace of Spades. Written and owned by Angie McDavid of Deathfield, Virginia. Fourth place, then go to number 617, Patches. Written and owned by Lily Gray of Lebanon, Virginia. Fifth place, it's going to go to number 423, Troubadour. Written and owned by Courtney McLaughlin of Honecker, Virginia. Let's give all of them a big round of applause. That was a pretty good size class. And we have number 336 on her victory lap on the little man, and that's Mary, Mary Hunter of Deathfield. Next in the stable area, we're looking for class number 10. 
Juvenile Flat Shot Racking. Once the ring is clear, we will be moving to class number 10. Juvenile Flat Shot Racking. Juvenile Flat Shot Racking. Looking for three inches in this class. When you enter the ring, come in at a show walk. Show walk as you enter the ring. After this one, after this class, he's going to help us and we'll move. Definitely. That'll work. Looks like the class is in. And enter a show walk. In this class, we have number 516, Oh My Romeo, written and owned by Courtney Bernard of Gate City, Virginia. Number 20, I'm Your Huckleberry Moon, written and owned by Ivy Hart of Conacher, Virginia. Round up in class, number 97, The Electrifying Electra, written by Scarlett Thomason. Slow rack, please. Slow rack. Number 97, The Electrifying Electra, written by Scarlett Thomason, owned by Walnut Ring Stables of Abingdon, Virginia. Bring it back down to a show walk, please. Show walk in reverse and continue at a show walk. After we are finished with this class, we are going to move the canopy 8 o'clock on the main page on the hill. Fast track, please. Fast track. Class 11 could just hang out for a second. We are going to move the canopy to the center of the ring for some shade. And we are ready to tie class number 10. Juvenile flat shot racking. First in all the blue goes to number 20. I'm your Huckleberry Moon. Written and owned by Ivy Hart of Homemaker, Virginia. Second goes to number 97. The Electrifying Electra. Written by Scarlett Thomason. Owned by Walnut Ring Stables of Abingdon. In third place goes to number 516. Oh My Romeo. Written and owned by Courtney Bernard of Gate City, Virginia. Thank you all for a great juvenile flat shot racking class. For 11, that's going to be juvenile trail pleasure racking, English or Western. Class number 11. Someone to open the end gate, please. We are ready for you to enter the ring. We are looking for 12 entries in this. Class, your honor. Looking for 12 entries in juvenile trail pleasure racking, English or Western. And once again, these exhibitors are 18 and under. We are glad to have them. This is a good size class. Looks like it's a 12 in this in this class. These are the future riders here at the Russell County Fair and Horse Show. We have nine in the ring, looking for three more. We've got ten, still looking for a couple more in Juvenile Trail Pleasure Racking, class number 11.
Maybe still looking for one more in this class, Your Honor. Boy, we've got 11. Looking for one more. Class 11, Juvenile Trail, Pleasure, Racking, English or Western. We have 11, we're still looking for one more. I believe I see her making her way, possibly. Yep. And the class is in, you In this class, we have number 161, Whistling Trixie, written and owned by Ariella Lindy of Abingdon, Virginia. Number 516, Omar Romeo, written and owned by Courtney Bernard of Gate City, Virginia. Number 282, Jungle Juice, written and owned by Brantley Jesse of Castlewood. Number 101, Zero Tolerance, written by Mackenzie Honeaker, owned by Asian K. Staples of Castlewood. Number 100, Old Bug, written by Brad Kaiser, also owned by H&K Staples of Castlewood. Number 153, Scout, written by Natalie Hunacre, owned by Christy Hunacre of Rosedale, Virginia. Number 14, Coins Forever Silver, Arabella Gillenwater, owner writer out of Rosedale, out of, excuse me, Arabella Gillenwater, is the writer, and it appears that possibly Valley View Farms is the owner. Number 99, Bojangles Yellow Girl, written by Jason Kaiser, owned by Asian King Stables of Castlewood, Virginia. Pleasure Gate, please. Pleasure Gate. Number 555, Fancy Sue, written by Ellie McLaughlin, owned by Valley Inn Stables of Cleveland, Virginia. Number 034, Nature Boy, written by Eden McLaughlin, also owned by Valley Inn Staples of Cleveland, Virginia. Number 12, A Coat of Many Colors, written by Michaela Gray, owned by Rockin' G Staples of Castlewood. And number 109, Legacy, written by Kathy Music, owned by Kathy Music of Max Meadows, Virginia. We do have a correction. Uh, Your Honor, number 350 is Scout. The number is 350 instead of 153. And that's Scout, written by Natalie Honecker, owned by Christy Honecker of Rosedale. Bring it down to a walk, please. Walk. Reverse and walk. Once again, this is class number 11, Juvenile Trail Pleasure Racking. These exhibitors are 18 and under. Let's give them all a big hand today for being out here. Pleasure Gate, please. Pleasure Gate.
We will be having a tack change after class number 11. There will be a tack change between class 11 and 12. We are ready to tie class number 11, Juvenile Trail Pleasure Riding, English or Western, exhibitors 18 and under. First in the blue goes to number 34, Nature Boy, written by Eden McLaughlin, owned by Valley Inn Stables of Cleveland, Virginia. Second place is going to go to number 555, Fancy Sue, written by Ellie McLaughlin, owned by Valley Inn Stables, also of Cleveland, Virginia. Third place is going to go to number 12, A Coat of Many Colors, written by Michaela Gray, owned by Rockin' G Stables of Castlewood. Fourth place, Goes to number 109, Legacy, written by Kathy Music, owned by Kathy Music of Max Meadows, Virginia. Fifth place, goes to number 100, Old Bow, written by Braden Kaiser, owned by H&K Staples of Castlewood. Let's give him another big round of applause on that class. We have... Miss Eden of Laughlin taking her victory lap on Nature Boy.